Hey guys. <laughs> hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we've got a little bit of an experiment. We're filming with the dogs out. So if there's background noise, it's gonna be the dogs. <laughs> Trying to do go. No, baby girl. Go lay down. Yeah. Go lay down. I know you're so obedient. Seriously. <laughs> he says, go lay down, my love. Go lay down. Oh. <laughs> we got your nose. <laughs> That's gonna work well. Try this again. Hey guys, welcome to the channel. Today we've got a little bit of an experiment that we're gonna do. I work outside, have to move a lot of things in the weather. And this winter has had some warm days, which has been very nice. We've also had some very cold days. Now these are the gloves that I'm typically using. They're, I'm not sponsored by any of these people at all, by the way. It's Kinko brand, I get mine at Orschlands. They're, they're called the Frost Breaker. They do a pretty decent job, but whenever it's really, really cold, they just don't keep up. So I've got my wife with us today. She's a lot more crafty than I am, so she's gonna help me try and do all this. But we're gonna try and make these gloves warmer. Let's get started. All right, guys, so basically what we've got is some space blanket material. This is, what is it, plastic? Ish. Like a metallic like a plastic foily. kind of stuff. Um, got it off Amazon, comes in a really big blanket. That's what it's meant for, is a space blanket. Um, so we've cut out two squares that are just bigger than the gloves. And what we're gonna try and do we're gonna find out because this stuff, it says it's the this says it's reusable and tear resistant. So, but the the benefit to all this is all the the heat reflective. So we're gonna try and put some of this on the inside of the back of one of the gloves, and on the other one we're gonna put it on the outside on the back, and see if that helps keep my hands warm whenever it's really cold. One glove for you. The left glove, you get the left glove. I will get the right glove. And mine needs to be inside out because it's going on the inside. Now I've never tried attaching any of this to fabric before. We are going to try and use rubber cement. I don't think the brand matters. The one we have here is Elmer's. So while she's turning that one inside out, we've got our Sharpie here, and we are going to, for the back side, because the way the fingers have this rubber up around the tips, you don't need to go all the way down to the ends of the fingers. The other one, I think we're gonna go down a little bit further. But this one, we're just gonna try and glue out onto the rubbery bits and then up the back, up the sleeve area just a little bit. So I think if we put this down, get that up to the end, and then we just take a sharpie and kind of mark out the rough palm. Because on these gloves, I don't even think we need to do the thumb. And we can trim down our size from this once we get the basic shape and kind of figure out what fits the glove better. Start cutting that out while you're getting fingers on that one. Apparently turning that inside out is a little harder than I thought it was gonna be. So 
So do you think this is going to work? Do you think it'll have enough reflection to actually make a difference whenever it's cold out, or do you think it's just a waste of time? I think it's obviously going to break down with use. Well, these gloves themselves don't last very long with use either. Yeah, but I think that because this is such a flimsy material, it will yeah. come apart easier. It's hard to not pull this. No, I'm trying. I don't know if it's going to rip if I've got a... Uh, like an edge type thing. We've got the back fingers cover section for yours. And looking at this, I think we've got too long of fingers. I think we need to cut about a half inch or so off of each one. I don't know. It might not be too bad. Even if it comes down towards the end a little bit, I don't think that's going to hurt anything. Alright, so that one will be ready. Yeah, the hardest part on this one is we're going to have to turn it back inside out once we put the silver stuff on the inside of it. Alright, so we have the one turned inside out. The other one is going on the outside of it, and it's basically ready for glue. Yeah, I think the the inside, assuming we can actually get it to adhere decent, I think that's going to reflect a lot and I'll be outside whenever it's like zero degrees and my hands will still be nice and roasty toasty. Yeah, this one will be the warmest, but this one will block the wind. Well, they're both going to stop wind. So whether it's inside right, or outside. Right, I mean, like this one's going to be warm. This one will just block the wind. It won't be warm since that material's not on your skin. I think even not being on the skin, I think it's still going to be better than just the bare glove. Because it's, it's going to reflect it back through. It's just a matter of how much did the glove stop in the first place. Because if the glove was actually, you know, insulating like it should be, then there won't be much heat to get to the reflective stuff in the first place. But if it's not, and I don't think it's gonna be. We've got our foil cut to match the gloves. The one glove is inside out, and the foil is going to attach to the inside of it. The other one, right side out, and the foil is gonna go on the back. I've not messed with rubber cement in ever wow. since I was a little kid. So. Yeah, I think on the inside we can spread it a little bit thinner. this just a few minutes to set up and we'll try putting it together see if it works all right so we gave it just a few minutes of set up and get tacky time now we're gonna try and put it together and hopefully it works in this one. One space glove. <laughs> I'm gonna move this up here so you can see it. So we got the foil on the back. It didn't cover the thumb. Obviously the palm is just a rubber palm glove. 
But we're gonna find out if that space blanket material helps keep my hands warm or if it just falls off. Now this one is the other hand. <laughs> and all that rubbery <laughs> stuff on the inside, my fingers don't wanna go. That's gonna have to get edited out. <laughs> all right. It's an experiment. I think that one's actually sticking down really, really well. It's that rubber on the inside, it's holding my hand yeah. so bad. That's what we've done today. This is gonna have to set up and dry now, and then I'll take them to work. See if it actually works or not. That'll be good enough on that inside edge there. I forgot what I was gonna say, I was gonna say something. Mm. Right? So if this works, this is a very inexpensive and easy right. fix. Well, the camera's right there. If somebody were sitting there, that's all the louder you have to talk. Am I talking too loud? No, you're not talking loud enough, that's the point. So, like she said, if this works, it's a fairly inexpensive way to make gloves that are good a little bit better. I'll be posting on the Facebook page, Dirty Trucker 08 Facebook page, how these worked out. Now it's gonna be a couple weeks before this video makes it onto YouTube from whenever I'm recording it. So between now and then, they're gonna get used and I'll be posting on there whether this experiment was good or not. Comment below whether you think the outside or the inside's gonna be better. And if you've made it this far in the video, thanks for watching, we appreciate it. And we'll see you next time.